going on, everybody? It's your boy, Tony Ronnie. I am making some fried pork chops for dinner. Oh, yeah. And you got the corn, man. You know, you got to have the corn with the fried pork chops, man. I'm going to be using this uh, chicken fry. You know, it says chicken fry, but it don't matter. And I got some um, chicken bouillon on there. And I got some seasoning on there. That's all you need, okay? Now, my oil been heating up for a good while. Now, it's time to fry these bad boys. You got enough room? Go ahead and get that bad boy up in this mix. This is really good. If you never tried this mix, y'all, this is really good stuff. When have I ever steered you wrong? Never. So, get your mix on there. Shake it up. And just going to let that bad boy fry. Oh, yeah. Ooh, baby. You can't go wrong with fried pork chops, man. You just can't go wrong. Oh, and I also got the gravy, too. I'm going to get another one up in there. Get another one. Probably can get three of them up in here. And that's what I tend to do. Oh, it smells so good. I just put them on, and you can already smell them. Really, really good. All right, third one. Bam. Oh, yeah. So we're going to let them bad boys fry for about four to five minutes. Uh-uh. Uh, get some out <laughs> Four to five minutes, and we'll be flipping. <laughs> you already knew I was watching. All right, y'all. These been frying for about four minutes. Now we're going to go ahead and flip these bad boys. Oh, yeah. Ooh, baby. And it helps if you got a set of tongs too, because you know, I'm having difficulties. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah. Look at them fried pork chops. Now, I thought I had some gravy, but I was ter terribly mistaken. I wish I had gravy, but this will do. Then we're going to let those bad boys fry for about four to five minutes and take those bad boys out. When I tell y'all these pork chops smell good, these pork chops smell so good. All right, these these are literally done. These have been in here for about five minutes. And we're going to take these bad boys out. Already right, got a pan in the oven with some aluminum foil so it can stay nice and heated. Nice and warm. Because, you know, I still got I still got like a whole bunch to go. I'm take this one out. I had to sip that one. Just get that one a little bit more time, you know. Drain your oil. And I'll set that bad boy in there. Oh, yeah. I'll flip this one more time. Let that sizzle up. You know, sometimes you got to flip it one more good time. So it can be just how you like it. You know what I mean? Look how, look at that. Oh, yeah. I'll turn it down the heat because I think it was a little too high. It's cooking a little too fast for my liking. So I turned down the heat so they're not cooking super fast. So I'm going to get this batch out and I'm going to get the rest of those in there, man. Oh, yeah. This is literally the second batch. These are a little thicker than the first batch. So we're going to get some of that on there. I got one hand, guys. So, you know, I know how difficult it can be working with one hand trying to cook. So I will do my best, though. I haven't, I haven't vlogged in a good while, man. I've just been taking a little break, clearing my head. You know what I mean? You know how you get sometimes, man. Shake that off. Throw that bad boy in there. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Let's get another thick one. That's look at how small that is. Look at that small pork chop. I'm trying to get the big ones out the way. All right, let's get this one in there. Get some of that good stuff on there. So I like to season my pork chops before I put it in the thing, and let them. I, I season my pork chops with what I'm using, and I let them sit for like a good 10, 15 minutes. Then I'll come and use the uh, the stuff, you know, the, the batter and stuff. Let's see if we can get another thick one. Oh yeah, they go thick one. Oh yeah. Oh god. Right, let's get that in there, baby. Come on. Come on. Bam. I probably can get four in there, but I ain't gonna push it. I'm just gonna go with these three for the moment. Alright, y'all. I did manage to get one more in here. To make just to make the time go a little faster, because I'm not trying to wait all night. So we're gonna go ahead and flip these bad boys. Oh yeah, they turn out perfect. Come on. Come on. No, God, please, no! 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 
Oh my goodness. Come on. There we go. There we go. Alright. Oh yeah. Alright, we're gonna let those fry up. This is the one we just put in there. So we're gonna let the other one fry up real quick, man. Because I am hungry. And we got that many to go, man. We got like eight on uh, eight more pork chops to go and a little bit more. I hope that's enough, man. I hope that's enough. Alright, y'all. I am finally done. I got like three or four pork chops, man. I am like so hungry. I got the corn here. I'm going to add my corn. Oh, yeah. This is going to be so good. Corn. Woo, baby. Oh, my God. Look at that corn. And what I normally do is I add, get like some of the corn juice. And I put it on my pork chop. I don't know why, but this is how I, I don't know why, but this is what I do. And that's my dinner for the night, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see y'all in the next video.